Welcome to the Kid Nation Extra, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Is today Tuesday? It is it Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Wow. It's the longest week ever, and it's only Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, oh, man, I forgot to tell you guys that my wife uh, overcame a fear that Kelly and I overcame earlier this year. Which is what? Speaking in public. Oh, I haven't overcome it. I just do it. Uh, well, you overcame it because we both got up there and we I did just it. do it. And we did a good job. If I say oh, so much. You do say so. Yeah. Did you watch the video? No. They sent I, us the I video. Can't. We looked great. Well, good. <laughs> I just don't. I don't know if I can go back and watch it. Yeah, it was, it was good. Okay. But uh, at Kinsey's grandma's funeral, she uh, wrote a speech. Aww. And you know you're going to go in front of a bunch of people. And my wife, Kelly's seen it. She gets nervous when she uh, she speaks into a microphone. Like when she comes out here and tries to talk. It's it's scary. Yeah. But she actually had the best speech out of them all. Good. And I learned something that I didn't know about my wife okay. when she told the story. Uh, she spent the night in a brothel. Whoa, really? With Kimmo? With Kimmo and her sister. <laughs> and this came up at a memorial service. It, yeah, she told... Dude, everybody was laughing so hard because Kinsey said, I had a good time with Kimmo because she made us travel around the world. That was her thing. Kimmo died broke. Yeah. Because she spent all her money taking her grandchildren and kids all over the world until she ran out of money, Many basically. Memories. That is exactly what you're supposed to do. Yeah. You're supposed to spend your money during your lifetime and go uh, be laid to rest poor. Yeah. Basically, right? Well, unless you have a little leftover, I'm happy if somebody wants to leave it to me. Of course, yeah. Sure, I, yeah. I would love an inheritance. I can travel. Ditto. Ditto. Yeah. Ditto. yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, they didn't get an inheritance, but they did get these memories, That's including right. what my wife talked about. She said they were in Chile, and the their hotel reservation got messed up, so they started walking around the streets, and they found this uh, small-looking motel-type yeah. building. Yeah. And uh, it had a weird light out front, but Kimo went inside and said, hey, do you guys have a room? And they said, uh, yeah, how many hours? <laughs> and I guess that wasn't uh, really enough of a clue for Kimmo. And she said uh, the whole night. And so she paid for it. And they found out it was a brothel when uh, the lights turned off and uh, they could hear things. Oh, my. No, it, and, was, a, it was an air TNA. Kelly. And so I guess they tried to complain. They tried to complain. And they said, ma'am, this is what we do in this building. <laughs> <laughs> well, if by the hour was not a clue. <laughs> yeah. wow. They spent the night in a Chilean brothel. Isn't wow. that crazy? That's something that I could not say. <laughs> no, I don't think any of us could say that right yeah. there. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah, so I learned that my wife spent the night in a brothel once. There, uh, there's, you'd be amazed, JC. Maybe you've seen them in the hood because where I grew up. In fact, the first grade school I went to, N.W. Harley, there's a motel right now, right next door to this school. And you can rent a room. It's not a brothel, but you can rent a room by the hour from what my friends tell me. Yeah, don't those police officers know what's going on? They, they know. Just chill out they, there. They know, you know. I saw a lady of the of the streets <laughs> when I was getting in my Uber a couple weeks ago, and she came up to our car thinking we were her client. Oh. Mm. And we're like, what? And she goes, Oh, sorry, my mistake. And walked across the street to another car that looked like his. And he goes, Dude, that lady is uh working right now. Well, there's yeah. an option for that on the app. I, I had never seen that in person. I've seen it on oh, TV and in movies. Where we used Dude, to right live. Down here. Yeah. Yeah. Used to used to come the same path I came to work. I thought they were just getting off work from the clubs. No, they no, were mean people. They're working. You never saw that? I mean, I saw them, but I didn't know that. I didn't see them getting in cars. Oh, I saw them all, all, the, time all the time when I would come into work. I've seen them. Have you ever been mistaken for one? Not personally, just no. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> you were mistaken hey. for one? Not only that. What? One time, don't you remember at that grapevine, that bar we used to live by? Oh, yeah. That we would go to. It uh -huh. was a cool bar, but there were always a lot of um, drag queens and trans and that sort of thing. Yeah. But, like, everyone hung out there. It was cool. It was a, one I was of the most standing on the corner bars. one night, already upset about some breakup I probably had after a week of dating someone. And someone made two drag queens roll a window down, and they were like, hey, how much? And I'm like, for me? They were like, yeah, but do you have a, and like insert <laughs> ma insert mail part oh, brochure? Right. Oh, oh, a brochure. Yeah. I thought you oh, I remember this. You were so mad. And I remember walking home like, what? Not only was I propositioned, but they thought I might have a. You know what? Wow. You should have said for you free. <laughs> Aww. That's had, nice. And they're not just in the little sleazy places too. There's some nice no, no, hotels. Nice. Oh, the hotels. That, There's a certain high-end hotel here. A couple of them. And Where the celebrities stay. Yeah. yeah the, they, they that a lot of times it's like a hangout. Yeah, yeah. For the nice ones. Yeah. Yeah. They propositioned me. I'm like, Pfft. if I ever had to do that, that'd be the, I'd be the hotel one, I think. The hotel one? Yeah, well, I, I don't think, think I, you get to choose your clientele. Yeah. yeah. Well, I get to pick where get, I work. Yeah. But like, if you don't get any business. Oh, yeah. 
I'd you got to take it down. Well, I'd start there and work my way down. You said I got to take it to the streets? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Interesting. Uh, interesting lifestyle, yeah, you know. For sure. Uh, yeah. I kind of want to do a documentary one day. Don't you want to ask them questions? No. No. And see why? And No. No, no you don't? Other people have done well, those documentaries. I know. Just go look there at those. There's an interesting <laughs> television show on Showtime. Gosh, I wish I remembered the name. Someone will tell me. But these were like high-end in yeah. New York, and the girl was in law. She was working at a law firm as a paralegal, and she started doing it because of the, how much money she was making. Yeah, we did that story a few uh, couple months ago. The lady that is a lawyer up north in like Minnesota somewhere, and then she flies to Vegas on the weekends and works. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Remember right. we talked about that, yeah. and uh, she has a great job making good money, but she goes down and she's married yeah. to oh. another to a lawyer dude. Husband is he's cool with it. With- yeah. Different lifestyle, you know? Yeah, very. You can compartmentalize it like that. I guess so. Hey, let's get to the question of the day. I think Anna has it. Oh, let me turn you on. Jayla says, hey, guys, I'm a fifth grade geography teacher. If you had to change your name to the name of a state, what state would you want to be named after? Oh. Oh, boy. All right. Okay. I like Cali. That's pretty. Yeah. I would name myself Calisco. Yeah. I'd go to Mexico. Uh, uh, I like Mexican that. State. You, could, you could say Carolina, but that's a yeah, girl. Carolina, name. yeah. Now, Jalisco sounds like a cool name, right? Like a cool dude. Mm-hmm. Um, isn't there some little well, Alabama? That's the name of uh, Travis Barker's daughter. Yep. Alabama. Mm-hmm. That's a kind of a cool name. Maybe Montana. Al- Big Al Montana. Montana is a great yeah. name. Yeah. yeah. What about for a first name? What would you pick? Um, you look like a Vermont. Vermont? <laughs> yeah. Call me Vermont, Montana. Yeah, Vermont, Montana. Uh, yeah, I think I'd go with Montana. I mean, Georgia's an accepted name, Georgia. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'd go with, but I like, I'm from South Carolina. I'd, I'd want to honor Idaho. that. <laughs> <laughs> Idaho. That's an ender. There you go. Hey, make sure you join us tomorrow. Another chance to win $5,000 with Beat the Bank Extreme. Extreme. Plus, we got two studs. Coming into the Ooh, studio. You don't want to miss call You mean yeah. us, Jason? No, Al. They're, these guys are good-looking actors. They're uh, stars of the movie Midway. <laughs> Anna so. and I were so uncomfortable. They yeah. were sandwiching me. <laughs> so make sure you join us for that. Watch it on Kid TV. You'll want to see what they look like because they're good-looking dudes. And we also have love letters to Kelly because it is Wednesday. Go ahead and write our love expert at KidNation.com if you need to. Other than that, we'll see you tomorrow, Kid Nation. If you want to be the question of the day, drop it in the comments section. We'll see you tomorrow.